Hi, my name is Brian. I'm going to do a little video and teach you how to do uh, an assessment of what your gear ratio is on your vehicle without having to open your rear differential. Uh, gear ratios are not necessarily like fractions. They're more like for however many of this you have this. So for however many revolutions in this case we have here, we have so many there. So the best, easiest way to find this See, like with this one, I have to replace the carrier, um, which is all of this assembly. This is on a 96 Toyota T100, and I have to order it in, and it has to be the right one. But in order to pull this out, there's no getting into the diff, you know, like on a 9-inch or something, where you can just, um, or like an 8.8 .8 on a Ford, where you can just uh, pull out a bolt, slide a pin, take out your C-clips, etc. You have to pull the axles and everything out each side and that's a lot of work and then you got to pull this out just to look at it to put it back together to wait for it to come so i like to have parts here when i tear it down so if i'm going to get the right parts and put hundreds of dollars at risk this thing's got to be right so here's how we do this we're going to make this really easy i've taped the wheel i've taped the body and you see the tape tag sticking down I'm going to rotate the wheel 10 times and I want you to count how many times that little tape thing goes around. I'll tell you if you're counting right you're going to count 21.5 and it's going to end up pointing straight up. But you can watch a video and count the 10 times here and then count the tag it'll be 21.5. Have the other wheel braced up so we're going to have to double whatever our number is. If you have a non-locking differential, when this rotates this way, the other one will rotate that way and the thing won't move. So I've got the other side braced up so that it won't move. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we ended with the tag sticking straight up like that, and that would have been twenty-one and a half. Twenty-one would have been down and then half, so then you double that, and on this one, um, twenty-one times two is going to be forty-two. Add the two halves, you get 43. Divide by 10 revolutions or move the decimal over one place and you've got a 4.3 gear ratio in the rear end and that's exactly what this one has. Let's go to the whiteboard and I'll show you about what the decimal moving. When you have things that are uh, multiplied or divided by 10, you uh, just move the decimal over one. So we had 21 0.5 revolutions that tire has a hammer under it it's blocked up so it won't move so instead of having to rotate both of them you know it kind of works out half if you had a if you had a locking differential and they were both rotating it would have rotated 43 times so 21.5 times 2 get 0 carry the 1 2 3 Drop your decimal, 224. So that's what we've got here. And then you just move the decimal once because we rotated the 10, uh, we rotated the wheel 10 times. So um, that thing twisted 4.3 times per one revolution. You can look at it that way too, but it's easier to do 10 so that you get that uh, 0.3. Because the other size that it could be is a 4.10. Uh, gear ratio and who's to say if you did it four revolutions or 4.1 or 4.3 so that's why you do it that way um, if you like this video be sure to click subscribe if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comments below and thanks for watching my video